Hey friends, I'm Mark Mantra from Deloitte. Great to talk to you today. I'm joined by uh, two of my colleagues here, John Harvey and uh, Josh McCuse from Google. I currently lead Deloitte's $400 million contact center business. I tell folks we're the largest business a lot of folks haven't heard of. We do engineering, we do operations, we've got about 5,000 people that are agents for us, building all types of platforms. And really excited today to talk about the future of contact centers with my good friends from Google. How about some introductions, John? Thanks for having me. I'm John Harvey. I have the distinct honor of leading one of our technical specialist team here at Google within our public sector business. In short, that means I get to work with really, really smart folks who help drive some meaningful uh, use cases and solutions within our public sector business. Great, John. Josh, how about you? I'm the head of strategy and innovation for global public sector here at Google. And my team is similar, but from a different perspective, we really lead our domain driven business that's really focused on the mission challenges that organizations and the governments of the world, the university of the world face and really try to bring the best of Google technology to bear to solve their most pressing challenges with that perspective of um, really putting the mission in the foreground and thinking about the needs of the citizen, the needs of the public servant, uh, and really trying to marry up all the magic of the Google technology and incredible things that Google engineers like John can do with what my team of mostly former feds and former public servants themselves know are the really important challenges that government is trying to solve for people. And John and I work together to try to bring those things together, working with partners like you, Mark and Deloitte to make sure that the things that we bring to the market really, really meet the mission. And I have to be remiss, you both said it's a pleasure working with each other. It's also a pleasure for me to work with both of you. So what I'd like to first talk about today is future of contact centers. I've been in the contact center business a really long time and been really frustrated with what's out there. So a couple of years ago, we went to the board of directors of Deloitte and we asked for some funding to go build the contact center of the future. We did it with our partners at Google and our partners at Cisco and some other world renowned software providers. And we built a platform that we called D2C2, Deloitte's Digital Contact Center. And in partnership with Google and in partnership with Cisco, we launched it this year in March. Now, this is not just any contact center. This is the contact center of the future. In this contact center, we went out and we found the best software in each class. And then we hosted it in Google GCP. And John's gonna talk a little bit about what that means. And with this software, what we're able to do is we're able to deliver to our clients who are then able in the public sector, in the federal space, in the state space, in the higher ed space, in the local space, those are the markets that we're serving here. They're able to deliver to them world-class contact center that's pre-integrated. What does that mean? That means 18 months ahead of when a normal contact center could be delivered, we can turn a key and we can turn D2C2 on in the FedRAMP environment. What's in this thing? So we have all kinds of products in this thing that are pre-integrated. We have ServiceNow CSM in there. Now, if you already have a CRM, that's fine. Salesforce or Dynamics or whatever you have, we can use a Booker and Suter connector. We can get out there. We can give you CTI pops and all that. But if you don't, we put ServiceNow in this under the hood. We have the CCI tool suite and Josh is gonna talk about this a little bit. We also have great products like Nuance in there for voice biometrics and fraud. We have Red Sky in there, which has E911 services. We have 508 compliance in there. We have all types of tools in there. We have products for the virtual work at home person from Broadsoft through their Beehive product that's monitoring what's happening inside there with full motion video or other types of trons coming in and out of the platform. We put inside the cloud environment Blue Prism. Some clients want to have RPA inside there. And we put all this together and we've already pre-integrated it. And what that means is you get it when you need it. And we're offering this now between Google and Cisco and Deloitte and the other partners on a consumption base. No more concurrent licenses, no more name licenses. This is all by the minute. And I'm really excited to have been part of this team for the past two years that has built this platform, built it in GCP and secure environment, FedRAMP environment, has taken it to the FedRAMP PMO and is now ready to offer it with my partners to clients. This is N plus two. This is not yesterday's contact center. This is the future. What I'd like to do is I'd like to ask John to talk a little bit about what this means for Google's clients in GCP today. Thanks, Mark. I think it's amazing the capabilities that you're bringing to the market to help meet some of these public sector organizations needs. Over the last few years, we've seen a massive number of call centers that have had to be stood up to, to answer the mail for unemployment insurance, health benefits, COVID vaccine call centers, where we've been able to bring our best in class conversational AI components and entity extraction to help handle some of the load. But customers are always having the challenges of how do you integrate into those back end systems? And being able to provide this environment in a FedRAMP moderate environment is, is, is amazing capability because you're basically gonna speed up the time to market 
uh, that we can innovate and provide these solutions across GCP for our customers. And so I think the, the investment that you've made has been very forward thinking and is gonna provide a lot of different capabilities across whether it's federal, uh, state and local governments. And so we're really excited about it. John, it's the investment that we've all made together. I mean, Google has been at the table for two years with their hearts, their soul, their pocketbook, and, and also, you know, making this investment. So this has been a great consortium. I'm curious, John, also for clients that have CCAI today and just CCAI, you know, coming into your environment, we're moving out of uh, AWS. What does this mean? to those clients that already are, have the GCP environment stood up? It's gonna provide a lot more capabilities from a scalability perspective, do things around data analytics. You know, when we talk about how do we create that customer experience within the call center, it's about how do we report and understand what's going on within those call centers? How do we understand how much call deflection we, we are able to do? How do we understand the scenarios that customers are calling for? And so that we can use the virtual agent, handle as many of those as possible to not only help our constituents, but then also help our call center staff. And so being able to have that all in one singular place, it simplifies the deployment, it simplifies operations, and it simplifies a lot of the compliance and network that you're going to have when you when you have multiple systems in multiple places. And John, what do you think about from a security point of view, without any uh, open port 443s or other type of open ports out there, what do you have to say to your clients and our clients about security in this environment now? Yeah, I mean, being able to isolate the environment and have completely integrated uh, cloud environment that has your entire call center in the cloud is gonna provide that level of isolation uh, that you need. And we can provide back to on-premises connectivity if needed. We can also make sure that we can meet your scalability needs. So as you scale up, you're gonna be able to scale up your call center infrastructure on the Google Cloud platform, which can meet tons of scalability all right, great, John. Thanks so much. Uh, Josh, I got some questions for you now, my friend. You've both been a Govy and now you're a Google. What does this mean for your clients? One of the things that we think a lot about is how government is evolving and why government is, is evolving that way. And one of those driving trends is the profusion of mobile technology. Most citizens around the world, but especially in the United States, most citizens are using their mobile device as the primary means by which they gather information from the internet and they interact with businesses, they interact with all these consumer services and applications, and they want their user experience of interacting with the government services they use at the municipal, the state, and the federal level to have the same degree of delightful UX experience that they expect from their favorite app apps. They want the government to interact with them through their device to provide those services. And there are some situations we've all experienced during this you know, pandemic where it's not even just something they desire, but something they really need for their safety. There's all these ways in which having really strong interaction with mobile uh, is really, really important for the mission. And so when we think about how government interacts with citizens, it has to be in this new novel way driven by technology, driven by machine learning, by AI, by the ability to have these seamless, frictionless interactions. And, you know, all of us, we think about having to, you know, use a call center, calling in, whether you're calling an airline or you're calling your insurance company, you know, we, we dread these call center interactions. And as much as we dread them, we think about calling a government agency because there's something we need. We fear and dread those the most. We don't expect our government to be able to provide that. And so uh, what excites me about this is that now government agencies have the ability to surprise citizens with something that works beautifully, an experience that is efficient and effective and useful in their day. And they're going to be pleasantly surprised that government is delivering for them. And so you know, that that's very googly. You know, we, we want people to have that experience of their government. We feel like that's part of the social contract for governments to be able to offer citizens that chance to quickly, easily, seamlessly interact and get what they need from their government. And when you talk about call centers, you know, I think that seems kind of kind of wonky, kind of nerdy, you know, but but I don't think about it as a call center. I think of it as a mission delivery platform, a way for citizens to interact with their government the way they want to in a way that works for them and should be a surprisingly pleasant experience. And when we we look at the demo of the product that we built together, Mark, that was my reaction. I was like, wow, I would not dread that. Like, I would actually think that that would be something that I would put on my calendar and mean like, you know, I need I need to call to do this. And like, I'm gonna get that crossed off my to-do list and be like one and done. 
And that's going to be a positive user experience for a citizen. And that's what motivates all of us, right? We want the government to have the greatest tools, as good as anything that Google would build for a consumer product. Now that's a public sector product. And that is exciting. This is Googly, this product. It is futuristic. Could you talk for a minute about clients that want CCAI and just CCAI versus clients mm -hmm. of yours and ours that may want to have the whole integrated solution? So I think it's a really important nuance in what we've done here. You know, I mean, it just it doesn't work very often for government for government agencies to try to adopt these technologies piecemeal. You know, there's huge gains in performance and efficiency when things are integrated and they're seamless. And you know, I think our contact center AI offering is second to none. I mean, it is exceptional. And John can talk about why that is. But what I think really helps with the adoption of new technology is the ability to wrap that in the other services and things that go with it. And from the perspective of a public servant who worked, worked in the Department of Defense for many, many years, but whose mission in DOD was to help everyone else in DOD, DOD with technology adoption, this is a pattern that I saw again and again, which is, you know, you were spending so much time and energy trying to knit different things together. And there were often, you know, data connector challenges and even contract challenges and all these other things. And so what, what we wanted to bring to market was a turnkey solution that makes it really easy for the agency to be able to deliver a world-class experience. So I want them spending their time solving citizens' problems not spending their time navigating their own internal IT bureaucracy. And I think when you when you have these things disaggregated, then you know public servants are spending all of their energy figuring out how the pieces fit together. When you can buy it all in one, you know that frees up that mental space for them to be creative about other aspects of the mission. And I think that gives enormous lift. We're really proud of Context Center AI, but when you put our contact center AI technology as uh, you know one star in a constellation of stars that it makes it all fit together. Like that's a very beautiful thing. Like we want it to not just work well. We want it to be easy to make it work well. And for those you know government people watching this, like how often is it easy? Right? It's not easy very often. So that's part of something that we want to deliver to public servants is we're trying to make it easier for them to get their mission achieved because we know there's other important things that they wish they could do with that time and resources. Uh, and we want to make it possible for them to apply their time and energy to those other important things. Well, thanks, Josh. Now, John, uh, back to you for a moment. Uh, any closing comments from you? It's been a wonderful experience working with your team to, to build this solution out and, and work through the, the compliance wickets and all the integration wickets. I'm really excited about the, the different opportunities that are going to be uh, in front of us to help solve for public sector. So thank you for the opportunity. Great, John. And thanks, Josh, as well. And again, uh, D2C2, Deloitte's Digital Contact Center. For more information, you can look at Deloitte.com. Thanks, everybody, and have a wonderful day.